Hey guys, Shannon here. Just wanted to cover a little bit about hard light. Hard light's very dramatic and it's very amazing, but it's very unforgiving. When you look at a hard light, it's going to create two different rings. I'm going to show you here on the screen. You get the umbra, which is the center part, the very bright portion. Then the penumbra, which is the reflected part, the part that comes off the reflector. Uh, usually it's a larger, less bright ring. Uh, here's a picture of Steph. She's kindly modeled for me. I had the light about about an arm's length away from, from me to my left. And you can see by the shadow on her nose uh, to the right side as you look at it. Uh, very little bit of a shadow. The right side of her face has a little bit more shading. Um, you know, Not the most flattering pose, but it does give you a good idea of what hard light can do. Um, this next picture here, I took the light a little bit further around, uh, bringing it in from the side. You can see your nose actually casts a shadow all the way across her face, and you get these two little triangles by her cheek there. Um, this side lighting is very good for men, actually, because it brings out stubble or any character. Not so good for women. It really emphasizes the lines around the, the mouth and everything, and any blemishes or, or anything are really going to show up. Now this here is classic Rembrandt lighting. Uh, if you look at her cheek, uh, right up under her eye, there's a slight triangle of, of light. Uh, this is still hard light, and I'm using the umbra, or the penumbra of the light, uh, all the way around on the edge so that it's not as dramatic, not as contrasty. But that triangle of light is really the defining characteristic of Rembrandt lighting. Now here I used the umbra, the very uh, brightest part of the light. Uh, again, had the, the light probably 45 degrees away from me, and Steph's actually facing right into it. You can see on her cheek how the shading and everything uh, really tends to fall, follow the curve of her cheek. Uh, so you can get that soft uh, sfumato, which is the, the transition from light to shadow. Using the umbra, though, is really going to give you high contrast, more saturated colors, and a very dramatic look. You can get that spotlight look. Anyway, those are just some tips for today. And you know, I just used a flashlight, basically, mounted to a stand. Uh, feel free to play around with it. Go down to Home Depot, pick up one of their clamp lights, get a, you know, a spotlight bulb to throw in there, and you know, wrangle a friend and uh, to practice with some hard lighting techniques. Anyway, next time we'll be talking a little bit about soft light. See you then. Mm -hmm.